What's happening, man? Uh, nine three one ZAK. Sam Silk here. We got the uh, young man in the building here, man. He's he's not he's not uh he's not a old, you know. He's not he's not middle. Cause you're still in your twenties, right? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. See, he said yes, sir. Now he's making me feel old. <laughs> Jeffrey Golden, how you feel, brother? Man, all is well, brother. How you, are you? You been good? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. Well. Yes, sir. I'm man, well. good to see you, man. Man, C- congratulations on, on on getting on getting engaged. Oh, thank you, thank you. Man. <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah, definitely. A, uh, I guess I'd say long time coming. We had uh, we started uh, dating in high school. In high uh, school, yeah. She went to prom with me. I was a senior. She was a sophomore. What? Uh, grew up on the same street. What? Uh, yeah, but you know, you just got to go through different seasons in a relationship. But yeah. God, God brought us back together. So we're definitely grateful. That's what's up, man. Congratulations, congratulations. Mm-hmm. Now, you, now, 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 you you have something amazing going on here, man. Um, I, I just found out about it, and, and I thought it was awesome to hear about this. Uh-huh. So you have the uh, t- uh, tomorrow and Saturday is the Cleveland Worship Weekend theme, Jesus. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's yeah. what it's all about. Yeah. Yeah, we're uh, really excited. Uh, this is an event. Uh, it started um, actually about nine years ago. Uh, it started off as just as a one-day youth choir explosion. We were trying to bring together youth choirs from across the city together. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and over time, uh, our vision, uh, God started to really shift our vision uh, to something that was multicultural uh, mm-hmm. and that we would go all across the city uh, worshiping God uh, over the course of two days. So we're going to be at Grace Church in Middleburg Heights mm-hmm. on Friday at Mount Zion, Oakwood Village, Saturday morning, mm-hmm. and then back at Glenville Church, which is on Wade Park, uh, Saturday night. And again, it's just all about bringing the body of Christ together, bringing Christian white black hispanic east side west side together man sam i i remember when i was growing up mm-hmm. probably before i was 18 i think yeah. i went on the west side maybe all the three times yeah like, you know you know literally <laughs> knew other other cities in the united states better than i knew the uh, west side of Cleveland. that is just so be- true yeah man you know just because of that division that's been there but we believe that god is saying we really have to break through that yeah. for the glory of jesus christ here's something i always say um that there are so many churches that are that are close to one another, but yet they don't fellowship with each other. Wow, mm-hmm. you know. Yep. Um, I was growing up, and and um, uh, shouts out to a friend of mine who's a pastor. He's a pastor now. We grew up in this church for years, and there was a church, a little bitty church next door to us, mm. right? And we would have churches come from th- way under wow. somewhere, yeah. <laughs> under and no diss to that, yep. that leadership, yeah. Um, but they never fellowship, and then. About three weeks ago, I saw on Facebook that they, the new pastors, wow, you know, um, was fellowshipping wow. with the neighbors, you know, mm-hmm. one another. And so, for you to go all around the city, I think that's excellent. And 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 like you said about you know multicultural. So let's talk about that because yes, because if it's one God, it's not just going to be just white folk or black folk yep. or Chinese folk in one section. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, and that's the thing. There's a scripture, you know, where you know it even says, you know, in Christ, there's you know no longer Jew or Greek or mm-hmm. you know uh, slave or free. You know, we're all one. You mm-hmm. know, and so uh, it's it's very important that we be intentional about that oneness. Because if we're not intentional about it, it's honestly probably not going to happen. Because our tendencies, you know, I think just as human beings, is to flock to where we're comfortable. You mm-hmm. know, is to kind of stay with our own tribe. Yeah. Uh, but just recognizing that the body of Christ is bigger than just our own church, just our own denomination uh, just our own uh, uh, you know, side of the city or just mm-hmm. our own kind of cultural expression uh, is something much broader. And what we found out is when we really started to, as a church, uh, reach out to, you know, other churches of different uh, ethnicities, uh, different worship leaders and uh, musical groups, mm-hmm. uh, we began to really have a worship experience like no other that we had had before. Right, right, right. How, how was the... Uh How's the career going, the singing career part? Man, you know, things are going pretty well. Uh, it's definitely been a, you know, 2017, I think, was definitely a year of transition for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was with Kurt Franklin's label for my first album, mm-hmm. uh, which was a tremendous, you know, phenomenal experience. And yeah. he actually, uh, you know, was you know, grateful for that relationship with him because he's actually the one who uh, kind of helped me set things up for my engagement because uh, <laughs> I proposed to her at a, at the Kurt Franklin Legacy concert. Okay. Um, but, uh, but, you know, I was with his label and, and was released from the label in October 2000. 
2016. And then, you know, you're just kind of wondering about what's next. Right. Um, but I really felt uh, kind of led that I wasn't supposed to look for another label. Uh, so me and my brothers were kind of launching out independently, uh, yeah. uh, starting our own company. Love it. Um, and, uh, and in June, uh, we recorded, uh, did my second album, recorded it live in Detroit. Yeah. Uh, have a new single that should be coming out hopefully in the next couple of months. Okay. And the rest of the album should okay. be coming out sometime next uh, this year. That's what's uh, up. So, yeah. That's what's up. We have a title for you? Yes, sir. Uh, the album is called In This Room, uh, okay. live in Detroit. And the single is it was the first song we recorded called Sea Revival. Mm -hmm. I'm super excited about it. Yeah. So so since Sunday Best, uh obviously, like you said, you know, you had to deal with what with Kirk and even now. Um, um how 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 did it help your your career and 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 and, and, and uh you know grow you? Wow, yes, sir. Uh man, that that Sunday best experience was, I mean, surreal. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, I, there's really no other way to describe it from top to bottom. It was really unbelievable. You know, growing up in church, you know, my dad's a pastor, mom's a minister of music, mm -hmm. you know, uh, singing gospel music since before I can remember anything, yeah. uh, you know, and then seeing this show, watching it on TV, loving the show yeah. going on, you know, these judges, you know, these people I've been watching literally my right, whole right. life. Even it was Erica Campbell, wasn't it? Uh, uh, it Tina. was, uh, Tina? No, yeah, well, my year was, um, uh, it was Donnie McClurkin. Uh, Yolanda Adams, Kiera Sheard. Uh, so those the, they were the ones. And Kim Burrell was the vocal coach. Yeah. Uh, so these are people I've literally been listening to my whole life. And then even some of the background singers are people I had been idolizing too. <laughs> so it's just like, man, just a super crazy experience. But I'm really, really, really grateful for it. Uh, really grateful for everything that's happened since then, man. Like I said, the time with Kirk's label was amazing. Just getting to be mentored. And um, I, I was talking to somebody, you know, because sometimes things happen. And wonder about it you know before you know before you let god shift your perspective and you know because you might be a little disappointed but somebody was like man you got to start your career sitting under you know the gospel legend of all legends yeah you yeah. know we, could you have asked for anything i'm like yeah. wow who, I went, who went through a lot yeah uh, yeah those questions you're talking yep. about yeah yeah, yeah yeah and it's just like man couldn't have you know could have never imagined when i'm 12 years old man just loving the scene you know struggling with stuff man went mm -hmm. through a four-year struggle with suicide when i was younger mm -hmm. and just could have never imagined where god was going to take me mm -hmm. um and so i'm i'm amazed really really amazed yeah yeah, that's what's up. I'm happy for you, man. I'm happy for you. Again, let's let's go through the uh, the list of events uh, for tomorrow and Saturday this weekend. Yes, sir. So it happens on uh, tomorrow, uh, youth prayer gathering, and you're going to Middleburg Heights Grace yeah. Church on uh, Pearl Road, 7393 Pearl Road, and you also have a list of this on your Facebook as well, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. So tomorrow, uh, we've got the youth who are praying at 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. Then 7.30 p.m., we've got a all-city uh, choir uh, made up of folks from about, about, I think, 25 different churches who are coming together, as well as different musicians and praise dancers all ministering together. Uh, and then Saturday morning, we'll be at uh, Mount Zion Oakwood Village uh, at 10 a.m. for a panel called uh, Pastors, Leaders, and Millennials, basically talking about why ain't the young folk in church. You know, mm -hmm. that's what we're going to be talking yeah, okay, about. Okay, okay. Uh, so we're really excited about that. We've got some pastors and some young people who are going to be talking about it together. Um, and then Saturday night we'll be at Glenville Church, uh, uh, okay. um, which is on 9009 Way Park Avenue uh, for worship night. We're calling the river. All right, man. Congratulations on everything, man. I'm happy for you and on what you're doing for the community. Um, at your Instagram, Facebook, where everyone can follow you. Yes, sir. Uh, folks can find me. Uh, it's Jeffrey D. Golden. It's Jeffrey with the G. So G-E-O. F F R E Y D Golden G O L D E N. That's my Facebook. That's my Instagram. That's my Twitter. All right, man. Thank you so much, man. Thank you, brother Sam. Appreciate uh, you. All bro. right, anytime. We got more coming up, man. It's the Samsung Show.